Three, two, one, go. All right, what's up, guys? I just wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, Nomad Sculpt is updated to 1.80. So I updated uh, earlier this morning and I actually continue working on the tutorial that I uh, that crashed on me. So if you look in the, the change log, uh, there's actually not too much with this update. So 1.80, just tool fixes, trim and split, miscellaneous, other minor fixes. So this one was just a lot of minor fixes. And it looks like he's working on uh, some stuff now because I think when I looked at this earlier this morning, um, there's uh, this this looks like it's exactly what happened with mine. This line autosave fix corruption when autosaving during a background operation decimate voxel remesh. So I think that's exactly what happened, uh, which is one of the amazing things that I love about Nomad is like uh, things get resolved very quickly, uh, especially with. Um, a lot of us who post on YouTube a lot and post, you know, wherever it is, it's like these things are fixed very often. So that's one of the reasons why I'm not too worried about ever upgrading to Nomad Sculpt because when I have an issue, like I always post about it and it gets resolved. And I think it's pretty amazing and pretty phenomenal. And uh, again, I commend uh, our beloved developer because. You know, things have been really cool. Uh, obviously, there's always been their, their issues, but uh, it gets f uh, fixed pretty quickly. So I think that was the issue uh, for now. I'll probably turn off. Actually, I guess, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll turn off autosave so I don't run into that issue again because I think I have autosave for every three minutes. So if I'm decimating or something, that's when it crashed. That That's what caused it. Uh, that's what that's what I'm that's what I believe. So I'm just going to turn auto save off because I normally save a lot anyway. So I think that's going to be fine. Uh, but since I have you here uh, really quickly, feel free to turn off the video. But I'm going to show you a few things that I've been working on. Um, the the tutorials that are going to be coming up. Uh, I'm going away uh, for 10 days, but I recorded a bunch of stuff so I could at least have some scheduled things coming out because I'm obsessed. And obviously, you know, I love making tutorials. This is kind of bright. So this is uh just like pancakes that i made i put some texture so i'll show you how i made the syrup and how i made the textures and all that stuff so that'll be in this tutorial uh coming up i also did a really cool one i wish i could show you my um show you the one that i did on blender uh where would i be able to do that i think if i go here thumbs i think it's here I don't think as long as I've owned an iPad, I will still always be trying to figure out how to use it. So this is the one that I made in Blender. Uh, so this is a Blender render, which are always quite beautiful. Let me make sure that this is focused. But yeah, so we'll do the textures and all that good stuff and really make it look uh, cool. So the other tutorial, actually there's a few other tutorials that I have coming up. So obviously there's this guy, this little rascal that I made. And this was actually just to do a symmetry. I was actually just working on these and I wanted to do a symmetry tutorial, which is coming up soon. But I was like, they kind of looked like horns. So then I just created a character, you know me. So I just kind of got lost in this. So this will be another tutorial coming up soon, as well as this little guy, which I love. Uh, and he was a mistake too. And I almost trashed this whole project. Uh, I don't think I left it in the video, but at one point in time before I made the face and stuff, I actually just like trashed it. I deleted it and like was moving on. And then I was like, eh, I hit undo, brought him back and brought him back to life. And now I think he's really cool and I can't wait to print him. And I actually might color him in like these two tones. So when I print him, I'll have to figure out how I can color the two things separately. Uh, maybe not the teeth. I don't think I'll be able to insert the teeth separately, but you know how I like to do. I like to paint everything separately and it'd be cool to make him matte terracotta color, but then also make these glossy pops. Uh, I think that'd be really fun. Uh, even if he was just painted as one one color, I think this character would be cool. Printed. So that'll be coming up soon. Uh, what else? Oh, you know what? Let me turn off autosave. So here's how to turn off autosave. That's a smart thing to show. Uh, I think it's somewhere around here. Where is it? Uh, oh, maybe it's in this menu. Oh yeah, auto save. So I'm gonna turn that off. Disable auto save. Okay, that's better. I'm also gonna discard 
if there's any if there's any last auto saves just discard them so you turn it off here uh at least until the next update which probably will might not be too long from now so let's see what else did i do um i think i already showed you the thing i'm gonna make one doing cartoon hands i haven't done that yet uh did i show you the room this is the hard surface room that i made a lot of people ask me about hard surface stuff so i just made like a little room and this is the first part of the tutorial this is the one that i was working on so i'll go through all this I'll show you how I did everything. Very simple, very easy, very easy for beginners. Um, and once you see how, like, once you see me put all this stuff together, like, you can pretty much make, like, a simplified version of any room. It'd be fun to make your own room and things like that. But uh, I have to start making more backgrounds and more scenes because I make so much 3D stuff, and it's really nice to be able to put them in a scene and just add them to a scene. You know, you make five characters or five whatever you make in 3D and just have a place to put them, have a virtual shelf virtual make virtual shelves where you can just like put them and you know render them out if you want to so those are pretty much what i've been up to uh i'm going to be gone tomorrow but i have some things lined up and i'll also bring my ipad and i'll be making some shorts and stuff like that so uh you, you will hopefully you won't feel my my uh absence uh too much because i you know i worked hard to really line up a bunch of stuff so uh, i maintain this momentum because I enjoy it. All right, so I think that's it for now. Um, also, keep me posted. If you, I'll, I might not have cell phone service, so if there's an update, uh, make sure you comment on my videos and stuff, so I can so I can check out to see if there's an update. Because sometimes I don't go like into the app store and, and check that there's an update. I usually get everything from YouTube. So anyway, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all 